B. Walt, did you watch the Oscars? I never watched the Oscars. Okay. All right. <laughs> Until recently, there was really no representation. So what, what the fuck? No, I, hey. <laughs> I never I get watched it. the Oscars. I get it. I absolutely get it. Um, well, I don't want to spend too much time on it because it's, uh, there was some, you know, there were a couple of questionable things. Lakeith Stanfield was a nominee for Best Supporting Actor, but he was going to go, going up against uh, Daniel Kaluuya, and they were both in the same movie, so they were nominated both as supporting were, actors. Okay, so if they were both supporting actors, then who was the lead in that movie? Because I've seen it. Exactly. Exactly. And that was, that was, to me, that's that retarded white bullshit. Like you can't have two supporting actors. Like you, I've never seen that done with a no, movie who, that was predominantly who, white. Who, who who was the lead in the movie? It had to have been one of them too. Axe the Academy. Who do you think the lead was? I would have said it was McKee. He was the lead. I would have said it because you you really explore what he's going through psychologically during the whole thing. And and uh, you know, homeboy, Kalu. Am I saying that right, Kalua? Or do I just want to drink? Kalua. Well, the answer is yes. Well, Kalua, you know, what I'm saying he it was he was a figure that the guy was like. I mean, you know, what I'm saying he was kind of removed from it. I, I I take him as being more of a supporting role in that because it was really centered around what, what uh, the snitch was going through. <laughs> uh Aaron says, I don't think <laughs> I don't think there was going to be a lead. Side note, I wish Zendaya Zendaya was thicker. Um duly noted, Aaron. Thank you. And Thank yes, you. Um we agree. We, we do agree. Um respectfully, we agree. <laughs> Good camera angle, we agree. But uh yeah, um yeah, that's just frustrating because it's like we can't win for losing. And then let's get to let's talk about this Chadwick shit. Um, Chadwick was up for best actor uh, with his role in uh, Ma Rainey on Netflix. Um, he was up against I forget all the nominees that were that were in the category. One of them was. Anthony Hopkins in The Father. I believe that's the name of the movie. Um, Anthony Hopkins won. Uh, you know, the Academy is fucked up across the board in multiple, many different ways and numerous times when it comes to Black people in cinema. Uh, Denzel should have the fact that Denzel still doesn't have a Oscar for Malcolm X is fucking ridiculous. Um, like and and fuck up all the makeup calls. Like he still should get one for Malcolm X. Um, Chadwick is gone. Chadwick is gone. And there wasn't one time this dude didn't give you hundred percent. You may not liked everything. You may have some issues or whatever case might be because everything is subjective when it comes to this art. But uh, he's not going to be able to make any other movies. And we lost him. We doesn't have him for Black Panther 2. We don't have him for Yasuke because he was... I looked it up. He was to do the live action version of that. All that's off the table now. And he left, leaving you with his best. He left this place. He transitioned, leaving his best. Anthony Hopkins, I ain't seen the movie. But I respect Anthony Hopkins 100%. Um, you can't get any more from Chad. Like, you literally can't get anything more than his best. Uh, they fucked it up. They fucked it up. This was an easy one. Like, And I'm not even about that. Usually, like, oh, just don't give it to him out of sympathy. He gave you his best every time. Um. And I, and I said this when we had Kaya back on the show months ago, being a black man and, 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 and do, trying to, not trying, but attempting to get something going in terms of Hollywood and 
the movie business. And I, I can only imagine what he had to go through, especially coming from where he came from. And he's gone. That still hurts me personally. It hurts me creatively. They had one chance to get it right, and they didn't. And this is fucking bullshit. And the and 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 it bothers me the fact that they would do this the same time when they had uh, Daniel Kaluuya going against Lakeith Stanfield for the same category from the same fucking movie. Like it, they still don't get it. They still don't get it. Like I'm going off on a tangent, but listen, and 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 that that shit with uh, what's my name, Arthur, uh, Arthur Brown, is that his name? Uh, the shooting that happened a couple days ago um, with the, with the, that was essentially, it was called an execution. Um, listen, white people, and this ain't, if, if, if it ain't for you, then it ain't for you, but y'all gonna have to figure out where y'all place is in the next few years. And I'm fucking mean that. Like the shit you got away with in the eighties and the nineties and just fucking 10 years ago, this shit is not going to slide. So, Get figure it out because we that's all we've been doing. No black man has ever been able to be successful without considering how he's gonna have to deal with white people. That's what white privilege is. You've never had to consider us. Now you do. Now you have to consider everybody. So get the shit right. Figure it out. Cause because your white women love us. <laughs> oh wow, right? here we go. <laughs> like <laughs> you, you you only have so much time here. And, and, and I hate that, but that Chadwick shit bothers me. It really fucking bothers me. Like Anthony Hopkins, I don't know how many awards he has or whatever the case might be. And this has nothing to do with him. But it's like, like there's nothing else he can do but give you his best and that's all he's ever done. That's, that's it. Um, I'm going to let it go for now, but that's just how I feel. Like, how do we hear about two more different shootings while we're still dealing with the shit in Minnesota? While we're still getting questions from that. Like every like there's so many different issues that circle back to them. Circle back to the cancer. Them. Like um it's 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 really frustrating. But I digress. Um you okay. I, I'm not, no, but I just felt like some shit needed to be said. I needed to get some shit off my, my fucking chest. Um, you know, and I appreciate uh, Anthony Hopkins being so respectful to Chad and things like that. But whoever who's ever in that academy, and I don't care when you hear this, I don't care how many movies I've done or shows, whatever the case might be. I fucking mean every word I'm saying now and later. So I'm standing behind what I'm saying. So it is what it is. Um, I'm done. I'm gonna shut up. Be walk. Yeah, yeah. You expect me to follow that 15 minute rent? <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's like we try to do a show, and we appreciate y'all coming here. And I'm hearing about another killing, and another question, and another body cam footage with, you know, this motherfucker's in his car. He's getting shot in his head. Like, I don't even have to, the, my timeline can't even keep up with what the fuck is going on. Um, and shout out to, I can't think of their names right now. Uh, they won an award for like best short on Netflix. And um, the black guy, the tall one, the first thing he said is every day, three black men are killed by cops. I, I, I might be. I might not have that verbatim, but that's essentially what he started with. And this is what he's talking about. Like, we can't even, like, Lakeith said this in a, a YouTube video. We just want to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> that shit's on y'all. Your insecurities, your questions. You're right. You probably should have taught us how to read. It's too late. It's too fucking late. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh man, this is interesting. Dude, who the fuck? And uh, yeah, appreciate Aaron and Jr. for coming through. 
Um, you, you know who you know who Jr. is, right? I I think I have an idea now. Yes. Uh huh. You know who it is. Hi, 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 Jr. You hear him laughing, right? You hear him laughing. This nigga forgot to mute himself. <laughs> Oh, no, man. no, I can't, I can't. There's no way I can follow that rant. You've heard me rant before about different things. So, I mean, I get where you're coming from. It is a very frustrating scenario to be a part of. We live in this shit every day, you know. We walking out. <laughs> every time I get into my car, every time I, I kid you not, every time I get into my car, there's a thought in the back of my head that I can easily get pulled over and pop. Just because I'm me and the type of car that I got, nothing more. You know what I'm saying? Every time I've ever, I guess, I mean, in the corporate world and entertainment, whatever, whenever you're dealing with white counterparts, it's always like you got to be two, three times better than them to get noticed for the same shit. I mean, I, I get that. So don't feel, you know. I know you don't feel embarrassed, but you know it, it was worth you saying what you felt you needed to say, and I've done it enough times. So, yay! You got it off the chest. You feel better? <laughs> feel better? I, I mean, no, not really. I just, uh, you know, it's been pent up. I, we, I mean, me and you talk off camera. You already know where I've been and what's going on. So, I, you know, I just. Uh, that Chadwick thing, man, that really. Because you know how I feel about the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, he needs a, he didn't get the show out. Like Robert Downey has lived his uh, uh, he, he has lived a full life. He has done drugs with names that I can't even spell. And he's he's been and 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 when he leaves this place and transitions, they're going to know him as Iron Man. That's it. There was a there was a someone put up a billboard, paid money, just four days ago, to uh to say bring Tony back. Like this is this is like four days ago, like coming off of four twenty. Um, from what I was told and what I understood about the narrative going forward for Black Panther and the Avengers with Chadwick in mind, he was to he was supposed to replace Tony as the lead of the Avengers, which is something he does in the comics. And the fact that that's not going to happen, that shit fucks with me, bro. That really fucks with me. It really does, because I know I have an idea what he's had to do to work to get to that point. And it's just, I'm tired of having martyrs. Well, I mean, Chad, I didn't put, Chad, Chad didn't go out because of something that directly, you know, I mean, I get, I get where you're coming from. Uh, what's interesting to me when, when we explore this kind of shit is the stuff that makes people tick, right? Because for you, I mean, being in entertainment so long, for you, Chad getting snubbed at the Oscars is what brought you to this 15-minute soapbox, I have a dream, Malcolm X, speech thing you got going on. I didn't even think twice about it because I don't give a fuck about the Oscar, but it's interesting to see what it is that makes people tick when you start talking about this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because my ass be watching CNN mad as hell at the at the red line and going on down in Georgia and shit. And that's what made me go off a couple weeks ago or whatever. It's just interesting to see because what they like to do is they like to try to put all black folks in this little box and say, you know, we all go this way. We all go that way. We all do this, you know. But it's it's very interesting to see when you talk to when you talk to individuals what what it is that's actually making them like some something like the Oscars. And I'm not saying it's meaningless because a lot of people pour their lives into the, to the art, trying to act right, do whatever. But something like the Oscars, I don't know. It's an institution. It's been around for a long time. They've been doing what they do for forever. But like all, you know, westernized institutions, there's always an element of, of, of racism in them. That's why they exist in the first place in the way that they do. 
But the Oscars is never something that, like, it, it never got me to that point where I was so upset. Like, there's certain things that's like, why the fuck did Denzel win an Oscar for being a bad guy on training day when he should have won for Malcolm X, right? You know what I'm saying? Because he's playing into that that stereotype angry black man that white people want to see, and he did it well, so he won an Oscar for, for that instead of being Malcolm X, which he should have won it for, I think. But for me, like, that, like... It, it 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 doesn't elicit that kind of emotion for me because it's Oscars is like yeah it's bullshit it's bullshit every year they try to be inclusive you know but it's really just pandering and posturing right you know what I'm saying right and it's clumsy and that's how you get two actors from the same movie competing against each other in the same category like what the fuck. Like that shit was stupid to me. Like that's that's absolutely ridiculous. Maybe I don't know enough about the game, but I always thought that there was a there has to be a lead for there has to be a lead for a story. Even when you have even yeah. when you have those ensemble cast, there's always somebody that the story is kind of seen through more than the others, and that will be considered the lead. That's what I always thought. So. The fact no, that both of them, the fact that both of them, I didn't even, you, I didn't even know about that till today. Because like I said, I didn't watch the Oscars. I never watched the Oscars. There's certain things that you know they're going to be biased, and if it's not in your face, I'd rather not be in my face. Some shit I like to keep in my face, like you know, certain current events, news, and shit like that. I'll be in that shit all day. But when it comes to the Oscars, and it's kind of like, hey, so this is my first time even hearing that shit. But it doesn't make any sense. Right, and they wouldn't do that. Like they wouldn't do that with one of their movies, because they never have. <laughs> they never have. Um, but whether they want to or not, this shit is changing. They, you know, some of them. I'm not saying all of them. And if you, if I know you and you're white and you're taking this personal, then we can have that conversation. But I'm not talking about you. Um, talking about motherfuckers in Minnesota, these bullshit ass cops. I'm talking about bullshit ass cops, white cops all over this goddamn country. That's part of it. And then I'm talking about white people in general in these places of hierarchy that, again, going back just to reiterate, like they've never had to consider. They don't know what it is to, like, well, what about black people? The you know it's it's they need to figure it out. They do. It's frustrating. I don't think um, we, I don't think we're waiting around for them to figure it out. And, no one's waiting around. And no the thing about and the I thing don't about make... it, the thing about it, if you can pull anything good out of the last four years, um, if you can pull anything good out of the pile of shit that this country was in the last four years, it's that. I think a lot of the minority groups that were segregated, like we were kind of against each other in some ways because we were subscribing to the stereotypes of white. I'm not going to say white folks. We would say uh, white society, Western civilization is basically um, spread about all of us. We're starting to see that we're all kind of going through very similar things. And we're starting to kind of gain, at least here, starting to gain kind of a sense of solidarity in the sense that there is a, a root cause, a common, a common root uh, cause to all of our issues, that being uh, this, this white supremacy, this, this perpetuation of, 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 of white supremacy and shit like that. And I think we're all starting to see that. That's, what, that's what, what's coming out of it this good. Um, you can't justify the violence and stuff against us. You can't justify uh, uh, the barriers that have been put in front of any minority group in this country. And I don't even, the term minority in itself is a fucking barrier in a lot of ways. You can make that argument. Um, but I, 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 like I said, I think the good is that we're all starting to kind of see what the real issue is. And white folks, like I said, we ain't waiting around for them, but they, they know. They, it's so, so, you know, they know. No, hmm. I know. That's why they. That's why they going out like this. Cause... And we and we got a lot. We got a lot of progressive white folks who you know couldn't be considered allies and shit like that. But I really think 
collectively uh, uh, the blacks and the browns and the in-betweens in this country, the non-white folks in this country um, are really starting to wake up and see um, that we're all going through some sort of, sort of hurdle. might not be exactly the same. You don't need to quantify it so much. But we're all going through some sort of hurdle that has been perpetuated by the same root cause. And that's important. That's important. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing sadder to me than, you know, seeing some little Asian woman getting beat up for no fucking reason. And then black and brown people sitting around watching it, not doing anything. Because if it was flipped and it was a black person getting the shit kicked out of them just for being black, we would be in an uproar about the very same thing. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it, so for me, like, I, I, I think the only good thing that we, we, we can pull out of the last four plus years is that, that we're all starting to understand what the root cause is. I mean, whether or not it's fixed in our lifetime, I doubt it, but you know, it has to start somewhere, and I think we're all starting to see it. You know what I'm saying? We live in the world of Google, and 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 information is instantaneous. And black people have been talking about the way cops have been treating us since before there was TV. You know what I'm saying? So um, now people are seeing it in real time. People are experiencing it in real time. Um, we all collectively understand what it means to be the other, the other. When, when white slash Western society is gunning for you, we are all starting to see that now, you know? So that's the only, like I said, that's the only good thing that we can pull out of the last four years with, with those types of motherfuckers. And Aaron's right, we all need to get involved and-, and Yep, facts. Yeah. True the lane and drive it hard. <laughs> um. Well, I think that's enough topics for tonight. Um, yeah, I need, I'm gonna need you to go smoke something, brother. Okay. <laughs> you have to force me. <laughs> I want a full report on my desk in the morning because I don't do that. 